Hello guys, today I will make another digital art piece and I'm really excited about it. I will make it using the PowerBlue Coast 14 monitor tablet. So we'll first take a little look on the tablet and then I will continue on with the drawing. So let's go! So this is a tablet that you use when drawing digitally on your computer. It has a monitor that you draw directly on with a stylus. And I have reviewed one of the Parablo monitor tablets before, the Most 10, not too long ago. And I really liked it, so I was curious about this one, the Coast 13. Also, if you think this tablet seems interesting and you want to get one yourself, there will be a $10 discount code in the description box below, so check that out and you will also be supporting me and this channel at the same time. Here we have the tablet and it feels very sturdy. It has a 13 inch monitor which I think is a quite decent size. The screen is made of anti-glare glass so there won't be any annoying reflections. It has 8 customizable express keys and a scrolling ring. On the side here we have a power switch and buttons to adjust the brightness of the monitor and escape and menu buttons. Then we come to the first con of this tablet, in my opinion. There is no stand to adjust the angle of the tablet when you're drawing, which I will talk more about later. And there are a bunch of information about this tablet that you can find on Parblo's website. I will leave a link in the description box below, so if you want more technical details and information, you can look there. Next, let's take a look on this pen. It comes in this very luxurious box, which I really appreciate since it will be much harder for me to lose the pen now. And it comes with some spare pen nibs and a tool to remove the nibs. The pen itself feels pretty nice so far, but I kind of miss a rubber grip though. It is battery free, which is really good. You don't have to charge it or anything. And it only have one side button though, but it is customizable. And the back end of the pen works as an actual eraser, so that is pretty cool. Then there is a manual and an install CD, but you can also find the install drivers and the manuals on Parablo's website. And a combined USB and HDMI cord. And that are all the things inside this box, so let's plug this tablet in and I will let you know how it is to work with and what I think about it. And I'm gonna be honest, I struggled a little with installing this tablet. I had to install it a few times and I tried changing different things before it wanted to work. And I might also add that I'm a quite untechnical person, but this is a brand new tablet so there might be some smaller issues that they have to work out before it works flawlessly. I didn't have any trouble using it after it was installed properly. So I have a few things to say about this tablet, and even if I really like it, I also have some mixed feelings about it, which I will tell you all about. But before I start, I just want to mention this little witch that I'm drawing on. It is kind of autumn inspired, and I know it isn't really autumn yet, but when August starts, I automatically get autumn feelings, so it is also my favorite season. So the first thing, the stand or the non-existing stand. I want to angle the tablet towards me so that I can see what I'm drawing without having to lean over the tablet and get an aching neck. And I had the same problem with a Moss 10 tablet that I also reviewed. But there is actually a separate stand that you can purchase for that one. But for this tablet, I actually put the stylus box under it as an improvised stand, which worked quite well. The box is a little rubbery, so it's prevented the tablet from sliding away. Then another thing that bothered me the most actually, the pen. And the pen itself actually feels quite nice to hold and doesn't feel uncomfortable at all really. But it is a little too smooth so it keeps sliding around in my hand. 
Also, it only have one side button, the other tablet pens that I've tried have two, but that isn't a big deal really, since I usually only use one anyway. However, the button is completely smooth or flat and not raised at all, so I can't feel where I have it, and since the pen keeps slipping around in my hand, I accidentally keeps pushing the button, which interrupts what I'm doing, and that is a little annoying. So that are the two biggest problems or downsides with this product, I think, but I also really liked how smooth and nice it was to work with. Even if I wouldn't say no to even more space to draw on, I actually think that this is a pretty good size. I never felt limited in any way while working. I did however find myself pressing a lot harder with a pen than usual, so it isn't as sensitive as my old Wacom tablet, which I noticed a lot more when switching back and forth between the tablets, but I think that that is a thing that you could get used to really quickly. If you haven't used another tablet, you wouldn't even notice it at all, I think. Also, another thing I noticed, the tablet screen is a little darker than my computer screen, so when I move the drawing to the computer monitor, I notice a difference in colors. The colors looks a little washed out on the computer monitor compared to the tablet, and I think that may depend on what kind of monitor you have, but I also believe it can be fixed afterwards by adjusting the contrast and the colors in Photoshop or whatever program you're using, and there is actually quite many settings for the actual tablet. When pressing the menu button on the side, you can adjust the brightness and colors and contrast and all kinds of things. And I tried doing that and I also tried changing the computer color setting for the tablet screen, but I couldn't get it to match the computer monitor exactly. And I can also add that my screen is very, very bright, so that might be hard for the tablet to match. So yeah, the color changing might depend on the screen you're already using. So I think that are all the downsides with this tablet that I wanted to bring up. And it isn't actual super big problems really, it is just how I feel about these things. And you may think differently or not even care at all. But there is also good things of course, or else I wouldn't even bother reviewing this tablet. I myself do not use the express keys, but I know many people who need them, and I think it's really great that there are 8 of them. And the tablet can be turned the other way too, so that you can use it if you're left-handed. What I really like about this is the scrolling ring. When turning it, you will zoom in and out in the drawing, and I find that super helpful, since it gives me more control and good overview of the drawing. So the pen may not be my favorite, but I like the fact that it is battery free, because I always keep forgetting charging my computer mouse, so I would probably forget charging a pen too. And I love the box for the pen, it feels very luxurious, and it will keep the pen safe when I'm not using it. And the little extra feature with the eraser at the end is really nice too. I think that the best review that I can give this tablet is that when I went back to use my old non-monitor tablet, I felt this craving for using this tablet again, which is a really good thing. I worked with a monitorless tablet as long as I've been drawing digitally, which is a very long time, but I've always felt disconnected from the artwork, and that is why I love working traditionally, I feel connected to it, and that is why I really liked working with this tablet. It feels like I'm actually drawing and creating something, and I have fun while doing Doing it. I don't feel like there is any delay or anything, it follows my moves and it feels natural. So I hope it doesn't sound like I'm only complaining because I am definitely not. Sure, there are a few things that could have been better, but I think that the pros outbalance the cons. And mentioning the downsides about the product also gives the company a chance to make things better if they want to. So I think that is all I had to say for the review part, and of course if you have any questions about things that I forgot to mention, please let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them.
So for this little witch here, she looks so cozy and there are a few things I could have changed but I also kind of like it as it is. And I love her pet squirrel and I know that this isn't really what squirrels looks like, this is more cartoony. But I got a little lazy as usual and I skipped the references. Use references guys, it is great. And I had a little trouble picking the colors for this one and I'm still not 100% sure about it But I love purple and orange and turquoise together so the color scheme is pretty at least Also the program I'm using is Photoshop for those who are wondering I changed the color of the line art to a dark blue greenish tone and I think it does so much for the artwork the black outlines makes it feel a little flatter, but colored outlines usually make the artwork a little softer and more interesting and less flat, because digital black is really black. And at the end I added a picture of a mysterious forest in the background, and I used a royalty free photo of course. I really need to practice more on backgrounds and environments, but usually my type of illustrations and drawings doesn't really need advanced backgrounds. But but I still like to draw more environments. So I think that is all for this time. I hope you enjoyed this video and the drawing. I had a lot of fun as usual. Don't forget to check out the discount code and the links in the description box below and leave your questions in the comment section if you have any. Or you can just comment which season of the year is your favorite and why. Mine is autumn as I mentioned because of all the pretty colors and the cool weather and you can wear cozy clothes again. Anyway, thanks Parable for sending me this tablet, I really liked it. And thank you guys for watching, keep drawing my happy cats, bye!